Welcome to the three-step flashcard method. I've been teaching this method to use flashcards for many years and it has helped many students and I hope it helps you. Keep in mind that the three steps can be done with many online flashcard programs too. Has this happened to you? You actually prepared for the quiz or test, thought you didn't do too bad, and then earned a disappointing grade? Maybe you've asked the teacher what can help you, especially with all the big vocabulary words. You've probably gotten a very common answer. Flashcards! Of course, flashcards, like the ones you're required to make in class, those ones that sat in a neat stack in your pencil pouch, but what do you actually do with these cards besides look at them? First, for physical flashcards, be sure you've correctly matched the words with the definitions. Word on the front, definition on the back. Many people start with the stack of flashcards, word side up, trying to give the definition. Except, if these are completely new words, how are you supposed to know the definition? After missing a few, you'll probably feel frustrated and be more likely to quit. Then the cards aren't helpful at all. Instead, flip the cards over and get out the vocab word list. If you don't have one, make one. We are now ready for step one. You're going to go through the cards reading the definition side and trying to match it to the word list. It's the matching kind of question that is almost as good as multiple choice on the quiz. This is a good way to get familiar with all of the words. As you work through the cards, create a right and wrong pile. The first time through, we'll probably have a lot of wrong words. That's okay. As you learn the definitions, try to make connections between the words and with words you already know. Highlight or underline clues in the definitions. These will help you get more and more correct as you keep going through the list. Pick up the wrong pile and keep working through them until you have moved them all to the right pile. Go through the cards using step one several times. You may take one 15 minute study session and still be working step one. You stay at step one until you can match the entire list without mistakes. For step two, get rid of the word list. If you are starting step two at the beginning of a new study session, go through one more time matching with the list just to refresh your memory. For step two, your goal is to get through the list and give the word from memory. This step is actually a good one to write out the answers on a scratch sheet of paper. This helps to learn the spelling and simulate testing. No matter how you get through the cards, just like step one, you should always go back through them until you get all the words correct. You should now be ready for step three. Remember, this is where most people try to start. You've read and seen the definitions multiple times, and you have a far greater chance of being able to give the definition that goes with the word. Thanks for watching. I hope you will see great rewards for using the flashcards.